We have new developments tonight and a call to action to protect one of our city's most vulnerable residents. People living un in tents underneath interstates in downtown Atlanta are mostly gone. And as we first showed you last night, the state hauled in boulders and rocks to stop them from living there. Georgia DOT says it's a safety issue, but activists say it's more evidence the state and city are failing the poorest among us. Here's John Sherrick. A show of support by volunteers, activists for the few remaining tent dwellers living in the cold underneath downtown Atlanta interstates. Most of the encampment areas now covered in rocks and boulders hauled in by Georgia DOT. Can't set up tents here anymore. The rocks a barrier to protect lives and property according to the DOT, which is still dealing with fires under interstates like the one in northeast Atlanta three years ago that destroyed part of I-85. Shame! Shame. Devin Barrington Ward and Movement for Black Lives urging the city and state to do more to increase shelter space, speed up affordable housing programs, and make it easier for people to get into them. And in the meantime, he's calling on people to call the governor and tell him to leave the tent dwellers alone. And demand that these boulders be moved and demand a real plan for ending homelessness in the state of Georgia, in the city of Atlanta. Enough is enough. What happened to the people who were living here? We're working to reach the governor and Atlanta's mayor to see if the people were offered any shelter or other services as public and private agencies struggle to try to keep up with what they say has been an increase of homelessness in Atlanta during the pandemic of nearly 30 percent. 